You ask. You're a free agent. You're a free agent. I'm rich. You're a free agent. I'm rich. You're about to be poor. I'm rich. You're about to be poor. I'm rich. You're about to be poor. I'm rich. You're a free agent. 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 Where's your daddy at? Let me talk to your dad. Let me talk to your dad. Where's your dad? You're a free agent. Where's your dad? You're a free agent. You're a free agent. You ask. Talk to your dad. Let me talk to your dad. Where's your dad? Where's your pop? You ask. Where's your dad? Started feel like shit, hand to the words. I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the car. Let me be there for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs. I was on them before you found me. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy, Matt B, aka Piff. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking out another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as you go in, man, so we can get this message out there. Share this video to any of your platforms. It'll only take a second to get your boy voice heard. Don't matter what platform you're on, share this video. Comment down below and tell me what you think about this topic, man. Please comment down below because this is a serious topic. So comment down below and tell me what you think. So Cam Newton to me. With all the, the 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 stuff that's going on behind this video, um, it proves a point that I've been in a lot of, um, you know, a lot of other black people been trying to put out there, you know, for the past, hell, 20, 30, 40 years. And this video shows the lack of parenting in the black community. I looked, I, I looked at the comments, I looked at the, you know, the post and stuff like that, and how people felt about this situation, and and you know, people are taking the 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 the, the child's the teenager side instead of taking Cam Newton's side, and they, you know, find that. I guess that Cam was being very disrespectful to the teenager and, you know, only a certain few um, really took up for Cam. So I'm going to be one of the people that take up for Cam in this situation, because at the end of the day, when we get videos like this, you know, and they put their little captions on it, we don't know what way to take you know what i'm saying we don't know what happened before and we don't know what happened after we don't know what led up to that situation or whatnot but um the other video that you know transpired from this or before this had even happened i'm gonna go ahead and play that no no ain't no disrespect you know if you want some attention i'm gonna give you some attention the right way bro the right way when do y'all play what was your record today then Two. Oh. No, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I wasn't able to see because y'all was too. Cameras on me. All right, cameras bro. On me all what time. did he do, man? Does he play? He got speed. He got speed. No, he's he's speed. Yeah. Speed. Oh. You gonna see? Huh? You gonna see? Nah, you ain't. Don't act shy, you nah, bro. See? Don't act shy. <laughs> I'm sitting right here. Yeah, I'm asking. See. I don't want to see. I can see today. You gonna watch YouTube? Oh, you watch YouTube? I know you do. You, you cafeteria your crops, man. Don't do that. No, stop, stop, stop. What you do? No, I'm really trying to ask you. Like, I'm trying to see like what you, what you. All right. We do that shit for real, though. I'm like, you rep that 205. 205? 215. 215. Okay, cool. Bro. I'm just like, <laughs> please don't be one dimensional. Like, like, you said something to me, then I go, well, I'm really trying to talk to you. I'm not trying to, like, crack no jokes. I'm just really trying to ask a simple question. Bro. I'm sorry. It's, it's your fault why everybody's looking, but I'm really just trying to ask a question. But you never said what you did. You said you're going to see. Yo, 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 Right? This is the coach. I'm not the coach. Coach. We squashed it. We good. I was literally, I was. I, know, we I, love, I love that. I love that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to break the monotony. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to talk to him. He think I'm trying to pound something. I'm just got to, I'm focusing on this. I'll get my focus. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. But y'all don't play no more today, though. Are you good? I see y'all play us next? No, our younger team dude. Play the, not a younger team, but a younger guy. The 18. Y'all 18 in there. Huh, yeah, 18. Yes, okay, yes, just sir. 15. Yeah. All right. Yo, Viper, let's go. Over there. Hey, come on. In the back of the end zone. Yeah. Right to the back, Mobile. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. 
sometimes I sit back and I think about, you know, how when it comes to privileged people and the things that they do for um, maybe um, poor or lower class citizen in our communities, how, you know what I'm saying, they put together programs and, and um, you know, do specific things in the communities that they don't have to do. And then you have situations like this where we have, you know, we have the youth abusing their privileges, so to say, because you'll never see any of these white athletes in our communities putting um, football camps together for the for the youth. So it's not only that they're doing it for, you know, what I'm saying they're doing it for black kids. They're doing it for white youth as well. So the thing is, if Cam Newton. If Cam Newton took a whole bunch of white kids and put them in a camp for them to get better, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and I guess make it to make it big to the league like he did. And he put, you know, he put the the black kids on on the on the, on the back end, you know. Um, y'all would say that, you know, he's a sellout and everything else. But since um, what I seen in the video is a lot of those, a lot of the youth that was out there were black kids. So obviously he's doing something for the community that he don't have to do that he didn't have to do. So. You know, meanwhile, I'm listening to this kid talking about how he's going to be poor. You know, I understand that, you know, he was probably being disrespectful, saying that he's rich. But the young man is basically telling him that he's going to be poor. And I'm like, yo, if Cam Newton was poor or if he never made it to the league, you wouldn't be out there having the opportunity that you have right now to make it to where he's at. And it's not even guaranteed that this young man will even make it to Cam Newton's status. So instead of the young man wanting to talk about football, the young man wanted to try to degrade a grown ass man. And me and Cam Newton the same age. I've been watching him. Um, I've been watching him, you know, you know, um, since Auburn, since Auburn, you know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, I even checked out things that he did in high school. You know what I'm saying? So I'm well aware of who Cam Newton is. I'm well aware of all the, you know, past scrutiny he's had and things that I've seen in the in the news that has been going on with him or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So we can talk about, you know, what he did with the Patriots. We can talk about, you know, his career, his legacy. But at the end of the day, Cam Noon is a, a black quarterback and, you know, there's there's not going to, you know, maybe in a later in a future time, but when it comes to you know, black quarterbacks, we have to say not only Michael Vick, but Cam Newton have made a way for, you know, these next generation of quarterbacks that are coming into the league, you know. So I just, like I said, man, I just find it, I find it real crazy that a lot of people would side with the teenager instead of siding with the grown man. And that lets you know that the mindset that we have in today's time when it comes to the black community so you know these are the type of kids these are the type of kids that you know like i said the type of kids that are choose to abuse you know abuse you know their you know the privileges that they have for being talented you know i look at it as like i said the young man didn't want to talk football when he was confronted when he was confronted about you know what i'm saying how he played on the field this is what it led to. At the end of the day, man, I'm not making this video to bash the team, man. I'm just just pointing out the hypocrisy when it comes to black people because you leave it at that. This shows the lack of parenting inside of the household. I don't. It don't matter what way y'all want to take it, what way y'all want to dress it up, make it look different. This just shows the lack of parenting in the households. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. So at the end of the day, man, we can, you know what I'm saying? If you sign with this teenager, that lets you know that you will make an, you will make an excuse for any 
type of situation any type of thing that these these teenagers do in today's time y'all making excuses honestly i blame the liberals for this for this bull crap that's liberal talk cam newen asked the young man where was his father because at the end of the day the way that the young man was talking was disrespectful and and that's a discussion that Cam needed to have with the parent, with, with the father. He didn't ask for the mother because at the end of the day, we know that the black mom, you know what I'm saying, would have took up for his son, even if he's in the wrong. And like I said, at this point right now, he's in the wrong. It is what it is. So if you thinking that Cam Newton, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, if you're thinking that this grown man is just supposed to take disrespect to his own camp that he's putting out, that he's doing for that team, and this team come in and disrespect him at his own camp, and y'all still blame him for the way that the team acted. That just, to me, honestly, I just feel bad. You know what I'm saying? I honestly... I know what, you know, people, I, I, I'm i pretty sure y'all know what I want to say. It's dumb and it's stupid, man. At the end of the day, if y'all, I just don't get it, man. All of these comments and everything that I read, man, I just don't get it. But like I said, man, that just lets you know, man, the lack of parenting that goes on in the household, man. It is what it is. I love y'all, man. Please comment down below and tell me what y'all think about this situation. Am I wrong? Am I right? Who's right? Cam Newton or the team? Or, you know, y'all share, you know what I'm saying, you know, the hate or whatever, dislike for both of them in, in this situation. So other than that, man, hit the like button, man. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Start to feel like shit, hand to the worst I wouldn't even make a dime if you put me on the climb Let me be there for a while When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile Probably blame me for the drugs I was on them before you found me Huh? Seem like everybody judged me, so I ain't